Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, our sixth session in the cycle Jobs Opportunity in 2020, dealing with gender equality, uh, still an issue for women at work, uh, we ask provocatively. I see that gender equality uh, at the workplace has not been achieved yet. We all see this situation. We all know that women rights are not normal rights. Women rights are human rights. There are strong barriers. For example, uh, stereotypes in and around education still limit girls' and women choice. Normally, our children have two parents, and two parents have to, have to care. Sharing, caring, this is the, the key. The Work-Life Balance Initiative was adopted as a key deliverable of the European Pillar of Social Rights on the 26th of April 2017. The first challenge here is the inadequate, is, uh, inadequate uh, family related leaves and flexible working arrangements that actually uh, directly contribute to uh, female labor market participation. We see that in member states that actually allocate specifically for fathers, there is a larger take up of the leaves by men and this really helps women to re-enter the labor market or avoid that they, that they leave the labor market because it encourages a better sharing of caring responsibilities. A second very important um, challenge is affordability, accessibility and uh, quality formal care services. So child care, out of school care, long term care. And finally the third challenge is uh, economic disincentives for second earners which are very very often women. The impact assessment of the Commission put it very rightly that the cost will be very high for companies up front, uh, while the benefits will be distributed uh, to society on the longer term. So what we um, were surprised of is that to solve a societal problem, um, companies were pointed the focus for us should be on the care uh, facilities. If you encourage parents to leave the workplace or to leave too long the workplace, um, there will be a, um, an adversarial effect or a collateral effect on, uh, I would say, the because the world is changing so fast now that even like with a new system in place, you don't know how it's going to be working well or not in the future. Actually those contributions are paid by the employer but for the employee. So that means you don't want them to get that contribution back. Look around the, uh, around the room, there is only three for men. Um, how do we convince them to see this not as a loss of privileges but as a victory for society as such? We should consider it like one of the best things of life and now we are discussing like it's burden. This for me is inconceivable. You cannot put onto the company responsibility family decisions as well, because they are family decisions that are coming actually from educational background, from cultural backgrounds. The companies have a part of responsibility. Uh, they have a part of uh, um, be a part of the of the, the the society. And I heard the last years always the same: the costs are too high. The costs are too high. We hear it's the choice of, of women, but if the system of leaves, for example, or childcare, as you mentioned, doesn't, uh, doesn't allow you to uh, actually stay in the labor market, then how is it really a choice? A work-life balance is not work-family balance, it's work-family and free time balance for me. Yeah. That should be the last word, I think. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.